Jeremiah chapter 51. Verse 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. They made all the earth drunken. The nations are drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her. Take bond for her. Take bond for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into our own country. For her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashir Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God. Some people are here for a bit. This place is out of here. Babylon is through. All right, future privacy. It's on its way. You, you can't heal this place. This place cannot heal. And you people are bugged the hell out anyway. Voted for a man that can't even know saying, um, a Neanderthal that can't even remember his name. Father, it's, it's all a joke, man. Voted for an end up. They don't know what the hell is going on. A dildo head. They don't know what the hell is going on. But oh yeah, the good old US of the A A A A A A A A A. Come on, man. This, this place is done, man. You can't heal this place. Everything is shutting the hell down. What is our Bath and Body Works? 140 stores shut down. That's, that's a whole lot of people losing jobs. The economy is crashing. Then remember, Israel, this place, Micah 2 and 10. It wasn't meant for this place to last forever, okay? Real talk. It wasn't meant for this place to last forever. You got people like this ruling. You see? You, you, got, you got people like this ruling, all right? You you voted for these people. This is who you voted for, Israel. These people. All right? This, this is who you voted for. Just, just look. These are the people that you voted for. The scriptures, Sirach 12 and 10, told us clearly, never trust thine enemy. What have they really did for Israel? Like, gave you an Obama phone and some food stamps. Hell, every water damn plant, you know what I'm saying, is, um, is corrupted. Every damn water plant. It, it, it don't matter which one it is. Ain't none of the, um, the drinking water in no state good enough to drink, really. You see, this place is out of here. Once again, Jeremiah 51. You you, you got a Neanderthal, you know what I'm saying, a cave dweller, you know what I'm saying, a sleazy E, looking like the picture that I just showed you, ruling. And, and that's who you trust? Zombies. Zombies. Look at the condition of the people on the earth. But, oh, yeah, it, it, we're in a good condition. We're in a good state. Everything's shutting the hell down. You see, everything is going digital, man. Rent is, man. people complaining like hell about the rent. The light bill, and when we keep mentioning this more and more every day, that 3.8 million people are facing eviction. You, you look, today is the second, man. A whole lot of people, look, man, it's, it's happening. And throw it, Terry, wait for it, because it will surely happen. Let's get it again, Jeremiah 51. And verse, uh, let's see. Seven, Babylon, the land of confusion, a.k.a. America. This is modern-day Babylon, right? Babylon the Great, the land of confusion. We just the bizarro world. Everything is upside down. You got men and women, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you want to wake up and be a dog, you can be a dog, right? If you want to marry a baby doll, you can marry a baby doll. I love you, you love me, and all this other nonsense, right? Anything goes, no limit, no limit, no limit, soldier. There's no limit to anything on this side, man. You can be whatever you want to be, shit. If you want to wake up and become a fish, just hop in the damn tub and start um, forming your mouth as a fish and flap your arms. It's all, man, whatever, man. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, right? The Lord's saving the best for last. They made all the earth drunk and offers philosophies. It's democracy. It's nonsense, feminism, and all the other nonsense. They look, look, what did it say? What did it say? They made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of our wine. Yep, yeah? <clears throat> they drunk of those philosophies. Democracy. Can, can, uh, this place is out of here, man. All right? Yeah, Sleepy Joe talking his nonsense yesterday. 
this, this place, I, there, and you people, you people started crying and everything. Talking Trump need to be out of there. You know what I'm saying Sleepy Joe needs to be in there. Different wing, same bird. All right, different wing, same bird. You should, you should know that by now. You see. The nations are have drunken of our wine, therefore the nations are mad. Now, now they mad now. You done went into their country. Sleaze eating went into their country and it changed up everything for the worse. For the worse, man. It's nothing but shenanigans. You see? Nothing but shenanigans, right? A uh, big giant game. Cause why? Because this guy is ruling. Let's get let's get the picture again. This, this guy is ruling. These people are ruling. C cavemen are ruling the earth. And you just fell for it. You, you fell for the nonsense, man. You fell for the okie doke, right? But but the Lord didn't, right? It's Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. Future prophecy, it ain't happened yet, but it's getting ready to happen. Howl for her. Scream, moan. Uh, a loud, bitter sound. Pitch sound. You know what I'm saying? Take bomb for her, which is bomb, what is bomb a healing agent. Which is the stimulus packages, pumping more uh, money into the economy and all that nonsense, you know, send, sending out the stimulus checks. The Lord said, take bomb for her. Bomb is a healing agent. You cut your arm, you do what? You put bomb on it and it heals the wound, right? You can't heal this wound, right? If so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon. The Lord said, if, if I wanted to heal it, I'd heal it. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. So we need to invest more in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh We need to invest more in Team Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh right? Instead of putting all your stock in this place, look, um, what a uh, sinking ship, the Titanic, all over again. You know what? You know what Sleazy E said about the Titanic? Said it could never be sunk, but the same day that it sailed off, it was sunk, man. All right, that same day, man. All right, because pride goes before destruction and an haughty spirit before fall. Right? We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. You see? Let us. Let us, because this is not our rest. Micah 2 and 10, keep quoting that scripture. Forsake her. Let us go, everyone, into his own country. And you see these, the, the elites, the upper echelon, they doing it already. And once again, they come here and make money here and there, you know what I'm saying? But they don't live here. The only people that really want to stay here is you ninja lights, man. Well, 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 stay here, you know what I'm saying, when that fire come, right? It is for her judgment reaches unto the heaven. And it's lifted up even to the skies, man. The Lord said he's going to make a speedy, speedy riddance of this place, man. Let's, let's get revelation. The Lord going to make a speedy riddance of this place. No matter what you do, no matter who you vote for, voting season again. And Israel going crazy all over again. Same thing. It, it never changes. Two turds, you grimmers, vote for the same people. It ain't going to change. It's different face. That's all. Same agenda, different faces, and you should know that by now, man. This man, this man wasn't created to help you out, man. Revelation, the 18th chapter. We're just going to hit a point. We're just going to hit a point. Uh, Revelation 18 and 8. Therefore, her plagues come in one day. Death. Death, man, and mourning. It didn't say healing, peace, love, so forth a song. The Lord said he ain't coming to bring love. He ain't coming to bring peace. But you Israelites still don't get it. You just don't get it, man. You see? And, and now um, you're going to spend, you spend them all your money, you know, so on these stupid-ass holidays, which ain't nothing holy about them. You see? They're all pagan, man. But, but you don't care. Therefore, shall our players come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots shall be utterly burned with fire. She shall be utterly burned with fire. Utterly burned with fire. Utterly burned with fire, man. All right? For strong is the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, who they even call God and Jesus, who judge of her. So the Lord is judging this place. You, you, you think you're going to stop the judgment of the Lord? You can't stop the judgment of the Lord? It's a fearful thing to fall into his hands anyway. What are you, what are you talking about? What are you Israelites talking about? Think you're going to stop the judgment of the Lord. You see, I'm living my best life, and that's going into rebellion. You see, that, that means you're living a careless life. You're not trying to hear instructions. You ain't trying to do nothing. You're just living for the moment. 
You see, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3, for when they shall say peace and safety, everything is going back to be better. We're building better jobs. Look, uh, it turns on we're building affordable homes. Says who? Where the hell is an affordable home? Show us what an affordable home is here in Babylon. You see, when you're paying like three, four, five, six dollars, seven dollars for eggs, what the hell are you talking about, man? All right? But 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 they'll say anything. A guy that looks like this will say anything, right? A guy like this will tell you anything is real, and you'll fall for it. Look, look, told the Native American, the so-called Native American Indians, no, I'm here for peace. They help them make it through winters, show them how to plant crops, and what will happen? What happened? You, you already know what happened. Check the history books, man. Was they trying to change that? It's already written already. The Lord already recorded everything that you did, Sleazy. And then once again, you voted for a dude that don't even know his own name. All right? He don't know if it's Monday or Saturday. He don't know. And she don't know what the hell she doing. You Israelites really trusting the people that they um put into um, power? No matter what they look like, you can never trust them. Once again, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say, only time you see these people and when it's time to vote. Other than that, you don't see their ad. And why are they on TV all the damn time? This is some old new nonsense. Back in the days, you ain't never see these um, officials, the presidents and all. They on TV every damn day. Ain't number. It's a soap opera, man. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction come upon them, as to veil upon a woman with child. Sudden destruction, when you least expect it. Uh, look, look, it look, as to veil upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Just like the woman can't stop that baby from coming, you can't stop destruction from coming. All right? You, you can't stop it, man, for, for it's the Lord that judges this place, right? What is that? Um, Let's see. Let's go back to Jeremiah. What is it? Jeremiah, um... 33, Jeremiah 33, 25, um, I'm, I'm thinking it's that, bear with me though, let's see, nah, that ain't it, that ain't it, um, 25, 33, let's see, I haven't read this scripture in a while, so just bear with me. Jeremiah 25, let's see, that ain't it either, it, is, it escapes me right about now, but I will get this though. I will get this, Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 33. And the slain of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. This is what the Lord is coming back to do. Shall be in that day from one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. The Lord is getting ready to come and get busy. The slain of the Lord shall be from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented. No one's going to have a chance to cry for you, right? Neither gathered nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. That's the end results, man. That's the end results of you. How about Shimei was shot? Look, man, coming, conquering. The lion of Judah, the conquering lion of Judah. The Lord said, I'm not going to meet you as a man. Isaiah 13. And um, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel. Both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate, to lay this land called Babylon desolate. Remember, it is a golden cup in the Lord's hand. He's saving the best for last. The Lord constantly has his eye on this place, right? Amos 9 and 8, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, and he will destroy it from off the face of the earth. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it, man. All right? As a matter of fact, let's get on. What, what did I want? Let's get Nahum. It's getting Nahum. Oh, this is probably going to be my last one because I got the roll. Nahum chapter 3, verse 1. Woe to the bloody city, destruction. All right? Woe to her that is filthy and polluted. Woe to her. Woe to the bloody city. I'm, I'm going to see if I can get that to end it off. Woe to the bloody city, a.k.a. America, Babylon, right? All full of lies and robbery. The prey, the part of not. So, so they're going to continue to lie until the Lord take this place out of here, man. And you Israelites, two-thirds, you gremlins. You know what I'm saying? You hyenas. You see, you you silverbacks, you're going to fall for the lies each and every time. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're going to fall for the lies every time, man. All right? 
every time. That's the only thing you do is fall for lies. You believe in lies. You, you don't never believe in the truth. The truth is right in front of your eyes. But no, yeah, I'm not going to listen to that because it's coming out of the Bible. Habakkuk chapter 2. Look, it's coming out of the Bible, so I can't believe it. Okay. Have it your way. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 12, and it reads, Woe, destruction to him that built a town with blood. You know how this place was founded. And establish a city by iniquity, wickedness, witchcraft. All right? Ain't nothing here but crooks, thieves, criminals. You see, hackers, twerkers, tweakers, boppers, beepers, the whole nine, man. All right? Liars. You see, everybody is covetous. Look at people's houses. They got all this shit. Look in their garage. You know what I'm saying? This is a material place. It's a material world. People base everything off of what you have when, when it shouldn't be like that. It should be off of what you know, what type of knowledge you have. But it, but it ain't like that. So, so this place is going to burn. I got one more. Let, let, let it burn, man. All right? Let it burn. I was going to get that um, that Amos. I might have enough time to get it. Let's get this Malachi chapter 4 verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Remember, this place can't be healed. So, so no matter what this dude says, let's get the picture again. No matter what this dude said, this place still has a date with destiny, a.k.a. fire. You see? It's going to burn as an oven. It's going to keep believing this guy right here. Keep believing this guy right here and see where you end up, Israel. Always believe in a man that looks like the you Israelites are through. A man that got damn makeup on. All these people are fake, man. All right? All the, all the, everything they show on TV pretty much is a damn lie. You see? It's all stage. It's all act, acting. You see? Lights, camera, action. All right? Malachi, but the Lord going to burn it all, right? Malachi 4 and 1, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. When the missiles hit this place and all the proud, yeah, because that's all you got running around is a bunch of prideful ass people. They don't do, they don't know nothing. And this place, they ain't going to get, the water is not going to get better. Air condition is not going to get better. All right? The living condition is not going to get better until this man is taken out of power. Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. So long as the wicked rule, no matter where you stay, you're going to mourn, man. As long as the wicked rule, you're going to mourn. As long as these people right here rule. As long as this man, you know what I'm saying, people that look like this, people that are like this, as long as they rule, you most definitely, you're going to mourn. You mean to tell me you're going you're gonna to trust, you're going to vote and trust a person that looks like this? Are you serious? Are, are, are you serious? All you Israelites, two-thirds, you grimace, you know what I'm saying, you silverbacks, you hyenas, man. All y'all need to be in a psycho war, man, because you didn't really lost it, man. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, man. All right, the Lord going to burn you to a crisp, man. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So no matter what the devil tells you, what is the Lord saying? You see? Don't, don't believe in what this dude right here is telling you. Believe in the Lord. That's why it says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, all your mind, and lean not into thy own understanding, right? Break, breaking news. Four deleted, eight injured out the passenger van overturned. That's judgment for you, right? Judgment going forth, man, all right? And it's peaceful. We're making vehicles better. We're making this better. We're making that better. Stop lying, man. Stop lying. That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Don't believe this man, all right? No, no matter what he says, don't believe him, Israel. No matter what they say, don't believe him. What, what Flavor Flav said, don't believe the hype, man. Amos chapter 9, verse 8. This is my last one. I got the roll. Amos chapter 9, verse 8, and it reads, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, which are the angels, are upon the sinful kingdom, a.k.a. Babylon, America, right? And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. So the Lord going to send them ICBM missiles, the intercontinental ballistic missiles, and the chariots going to be shooting the laser beams, man. All right? The Lord says he's going to destroy this wicked sinful kingdom off the face of the earth when this man right here is telling you that everything is all love, love. So so who are you going to believe? You're going to believe the Lord? The scriptures tell us, um, Acts 5 and 29, we ought to obey the most high rather than man. Re remember, the hope and trust in man is vain. You see? Don't believe the hype, Israel. Shalom.